Hi, I'm Sam D'Angelo from Kinetic Global. Today I'm going to talk to you about resilience. I hear this also often that lots of people right now don't have resilience. I even had someone say to me in a training session, the snowflake generation. I said, what's the snowflake generation? You know, the generation that melts under pressure. I was like, wow, that's an interesting one. Haven't heard that before. So I want to give you a couple of tips on how to build resilience. This is an enormous topic. There is so much information that I can give to you about resilience. But I'm going to share a story about what happened on the weekend and also what I see in teams all the time, the world over. So we want to be really helpful and we want to help our people. But that means that we'll actually go to the, their help and their aid and their assistance far too soon. And we'll serve up a response to something on a platter when they don't know the answer or when they start to get a little bit frustrated. In doing that, we think we're being helpful. But in actual fact, it's, it's a little bit detrimental. So on the weekend, I'll give you an example. My daughter was playing a video game. Now, I know nothing about video games at all. But together, we were solving the challenges and she was you know, solving all the problems of the world on this screen. And she'd get to a point that would become something she couldn't get past and she'd start to get really frustrated. Now, I didn't know the answer, so that made this really helpful. But what we then did was we Googled it together and then together we came up with the answer and then she executed it. This is what I do in coaching all the time. When somebody doesn't know the way forward and they get really frustrated, then I'll help to start to nudge open the doorway, which will allow them to start to navigate their way through. Because there's no sense just saying, well, I don't know, work it out yourself. That's going to frustrate them even more. You want to give them some help and some support without serving the response up on a silver platter. Because if you serve the response on a silver platter, all you get is the way that you would have done it yourself and the individual fails to learn anything. Be mindful next time somebody comes to you, if you want to help build their resilience, then you want to help guide them to, towards the answer as opposed to giving them the answer. That's going to help them build their resilience for next time. But it's also going to set up that expectation that, okay, I can't just go to my boss and expect I'm going to get everything delivered to me. I've actually got to put a little bit of effort into this to try and solve it. So I hope that helps. Happy resilience building. Uh, we certainly do plenty of stuff on it in a coaching world. If we can help, then reach out. Cheers.